next guest tonight is half of the hilarious duo behind Broad City and now stars in the movie Rough Night. I just got some coke from the busboy. What? Yeah. America. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Sort of right on the nose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Okay, guys, I can't do any cocaine. I'm very jet lagged, so I will do cocaine. Yes. So everyone's in. Dope, 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 dope. Guys, dope, dope, dope. Dope. I don't know. Jess, come on. Just do some cocaine. She's freaking. Sorry, I did a little bit of it. Please welcome Alana Glazer. Nice to see you. You too. Uh, now, does Abby know that we're hanging out tonight? She does, and Is she, okay she says with hi. This? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, we're, we're for whoever of us gets to see you. We're very happy. So okay, good. Exactly. Is you okay with seeing other people? Yeah. All right. Yep. Last time you were here, <laughs> it was the two of you and our good friend Doris Kearns Goodwin. Okay, and this was during the convention uh, last summer, before in the before times, as I call them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you yep. have any memories of that night? Uh, oh, how has the world changed I for was you? I was talking about it on, on our ride here because I, I couldn't believe the last time that we had been here. I could not believe it. It was during the Republican or Democratic convention. Do you remember? I think it was, I the, think it was the DNC. Yeah, I think it was Democratic convention. Um, but we met Doris and... Who's wonderful. Yeah, and, and she was so lovely. And we said, Doris, do you think there's any chance that he could win? And she was like, not a chance. Not, not a country that... Um, you know, is built on slavery but has elected Obama. Our country is not, is not gonna vote for that guy. Yeah, I've always said she does not know what she's talking she's about. She's an idiot. She's, she's yeah. an idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies to Doris Kearns Goodwin, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, dumb, she's a, dumb lady. Yeah, yeah. Just, she has like studied all of it and knows the patterns and I mm -hmm. think something, there was a glitch in the system because mm -hmm. when she said it, I believed that she was right. So, uh, Broad City season four uh, starts when? Starts August. Yes. August, August of this year. Yep. Um, you, you guys made a little bit of political comedy news in the last couple of days yeah. because what you're doing something special this season <sighs> with uh, well with our, with our president. What is it? Yes, we are bleeping his last name, President Bleep. Um, he gets enough airtime as it is, and you know, it's in in the world. It would be better not to hear it. No, it's gonna make it sound. <laughs> you could actually say anything you you could say anything you want in that moment. You and, right. and people would know what you were saying. You could say you're saying Trump, but you could say anything you want right. in that moment. Right, that's true. Yeah. And usually I go for Drumpf. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's his real his real last name. So. Mm -hmm. Do you, are, do you, we've had so many guest stars on that show. Is there a particular guest star that you've had over the years that uh, has been most exciting to you? I mean, when we had Hillary Clinton, it was... I remember her. It was... Yeah. <laughs> do you remember nice her? La nice lady. Really nice. nice lady. Really She smart. works for the National Park Service now, I think. <laughs> really, really qualified. Yeah. She was, yeah. Yeah, she was brilliant, and that was incredible to meet her. That was crazy. Since um, since we've been watching all this, you yeah. know, fake news and whatever, real news and the president, I, and uh, anticipating coming here tonight, I have been thinking, Stephen, that you are a really um, model white man. You're a, a really... Well, I, I am the picture in the dictionary next to white man, I think. <laughs> You're... They don't get much whiter than me. <laughs> you are the good version of one because almost our president is almost like the number one white guy that, you know, in America because he's the... President, but I'm also yeah. like, oh, so Stephen Colbert is. You've just been um, revealing yourself to us over the years in the way I've been watching Strangers with Candy lately, mm -hmm. and uh, you've just been revealing yourself in this sincere way. That was a character I was playing on that show, and he was very disturbed. But thank you he very was, much. But I mean, that's that's what I yeah. mean. He was like so. Um, you were so young in it and like pretty. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping Maybe. by. <laughs> You were so, <laughs> you were so, but you were, you were less. I was thin too. You were, you're thin, but you were less, um, you were less attractive of a person because you, you and Sedaris, you guys are being grotesque in it and you're not yes. being yourself. And just over the years, you've become this real version of yourself or whatever, as real as uh -huh. you it are. Be, and yeah. it's, um, it's really, it's, I think, I, I hope that the president watches this show and learns from you. I'm sure he does. Now, um, <laughs> you're directing now. 
That is a big step to like go from writer performer to director. Why did you want to do it, and are you power mad? I am. I am power crazy. I have been like just slapping PA's asses. That's like what we thought we could get when we directed. We've been really mm -hmm. um, hiking up the uh, sexual assault bills for Comedy Central, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, you know, it actually was more efficient for us to direct because all these conversations end up with us anyway. So it like eliminated many email chains, uh -huh. you know, that we would be CC'd on anyway and be answering all these questions. It really condensed the work, mm -hmm. but um, it sort of made gray hair grow out of my body also. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the movie Rough Night uh, that you're in, it's you, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Jillian Bell, Kate McKinnon, uh, Zoe Kravitz. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a female cast, uh, directed and written by women. It's the first R-rated, like, wide-release comedy directed by a woman in, like, 20 years or something like that. What was it like to make? How did you guys bond so quickly together? We did a lot of bits uh, on set. I had one that was pretty gross. It's, uh, Zoe is so obscenely beautiful that we She's were... Lovely, like, Lydia. We were like, who, who would be the most beautiful person that Zoe could have a baby with? And it's obviously Jaden Smith, because um, he's a, a very handsome young pretty man. Pretty beautiful, very handsome young man. Young man yeah. And uh, we were saying, wouldn't it be amazing if Jaden and Zoe had a baby and the baby turned out ugly? <laughs> uh, so my character is—I didn't name him, Django Smith, Django Smith Kravitz—and um, he talks like this. Uh, <laughs> he really makes up for a lot of his looks and personality. <laughs> Does Jaden know you did this? Because he might want to tweet about it. No, Jaden doesn't know who I am. Hi, Jaden Smith. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thanks so much. Uh, my best to everyone in the Broad City family. Thank Rough you. Night is in theaters this Friday. Alana Blazer, everybody. We'll be right back with Beeps, Sam Richardson.